This review copy was provided by Deep Silver. It's been a long 18 years since the last time we saw Ryo on his mission to avenge his father. Since then, games like Grand Theft Auto, Yakuza, Judgment, and so on have evolved the open world system that was founded with Shenmue. With Shenmue 3, this isn't Shenmue after 18 years of technology, but a game from the 90s built in 2019. Shenmue 3's story continues literally right where the second game left off. I don't want to go too far into specifics for anyone that hasn't played the first two games and are just curious about the shiny new one. For veterans, it's a continuation of the story as it was left off in 2001. You play as Ryul, a boy from Japan seeking out the murderer of his father. That very mission has gotten you to meet all sorts of people where you now find yourself in China, continuing your search. Shenmue 3 in that sense is the payoff for all the questions fans were left with wondering all those years ago. In terms of delivery, Shenmue 3 completes those wishes, for the most part, answering questions but not without raising a few more in true Shenmue fashion. Without a doubt, Shenmue 3's writing and story wrap up will leave fans polarized and completely split. In that same way, I imagine the gameplay to follow suit between those that have been waiting 18 years to play this and those just jumping into it since they played the HD remasters for the first time this year. What really set the Shenmue series apart in the late 90s and early 2000s was how it set a foundation for the open world series. At the time, there wasn't really anything like it, and since its hiatus, it only evolved with so many other different franchises. Shenmue 3, on the other hand, doesn't feel evolved. In fact, it feels more like Shovel Knight. And what I mean by that is that this feels more like a game for the 90s, but made with the current technology. That might tickle your nostalgia for the series, but it can also make the game feel vastly dated in comparison to its competition in the genre now. I for one admire some of the intentional design choices here, though I also acknowledge that some of these choices are just bad choices now. Gameplay typically has you investigating the people around you, asking them questions about your current clue in hopes that it leads you to the next one. It's a constant chase of information that'll have you doing a favor for someone, which includes collecting this item for a person that's only home at 7pm but also then wants to challenge you to a fight before giving you that item. It's a long daisy chain of events that play into what ultimately ends up being a living in rural China during the 80s simulator. That's not a knock on it though, it's peaceful and tranquil in many ways. Shinmu has always thrived on making a world that's easy to get lost in, not necessarily for the objectives but for the monotonous things that you can do. This includes getting a job like cutting wood for the local store, training to get stronger at kung fu, unlocking new moves in the process, perhaps maybe collecting herbs that can either be sold or traded at the pawn shop. Of course you can also spend your money at the local arcade or on a collectible gacha pawn. There's no real reason to collect them other than to collect them, but the satisfaction of getting a figure you really want is present even in the virtual world. If you're feeling lucky, you can even gamble that money away in minigames. They're not all that complex or even games of skill, but they're fun distractions. Ultimately, that's what the meat of Shenmue 3 is, distractions. You're still on this 20 hour or so quest to avenge your father, going after the next story beat. However, I constantly found myself distracted by all the little things around me, even the ones that lack purpose. I spent a solid 20 minutes opening drawers and examining every corner of an empty home, only to just stare at models of towels and statues that really didn't have a significance on the story. That just lends over to the intricate details in Shenmue 3. Shenmue 3 has a very interesting look that mixes the models of the past with the visual technology of the present. If someone from the future had shown me Shenmue 3 before it was even announced, I would have easily believed it was an HD mod for the first two games. In fact, this is exactly what I see when people make other video game series in Unreal Engine for the first time. Shenmue 3 looks like Shenmue 2 remade in Unreal Engine by a fan, and well, it's not too far off from that. It's a visual aesthetic that won't please everyone. The UI admittedly looks like it was ripped from the Dreamcast era of game design. Character models are blocky and stiff looking, just as much as they were back in the previous two titles. If anything has been majorly changed, it's the textures, the resolution of the game obviously, and the lighting system. What has been updated looks beautiful, like a mix of old school and new school. To me, it gives me the same feeling of when I first played Octopath and saw the juxtaposition of retro sprites with a modernized lighting system. When it comes to performance, it's solid running at 1080p 30fps on PS4 with the ability to hit 1080p 60 if you're playing on PC. Performance really isn't a problem with Shenmue 3, but there are some odd cutscene choices here. Shenmue has always had this weird choice where the cutscenes fade in and out of each other at different angles. It's odder here because they're more frequent and require a loading screen on top of it all despite the more modern technology in place. So while at times it's charming to see a cutscene for every little thing, with the loading screens and times, it can also get really annoying. Shenmue's music is absolutely beautiful. If anything helps capture the nostalgic and calming undertones of Shenmue's world, it's the music. 
there's a wide variety of tracks here that cater to Shenmue 3's various types of gameplay. The more string-heavy songs are calm and peaceful sounding, matching the slower-paced gameplay of talking to people and walking around the village. On the opposite end is the combat music that livens up with more drums helping to build anticipation and energy. The voice acting is laughable and just terrible. Delivery of lines feels completely off and the writing between characters sounds like they were mistranslated conversations between people using Google Translate. Whether it was done purposely to recapture the gameplay nostalgia or the team is just that bad at voice acting directing, it comes off as laughable to me. I could never take some of the things said here seriously like the badly paced conversations that would fade in and out of camera angles or this little boy just calling me his bro. I need help with something. What is it, mister? Here, look at this. I can't read, bro. I see. I need help with something. What do you want? I'm looking for someone named Yuan. No, I haven't. Shenmue 3's music hasn't missed a beat over the years, but the direction of voice acting here, despite being on par with the previous titles, is terrible. Well, that bar was never that high to begin with. It's hilarious, but hilariously bad. Shenmue 3 is exasperating as much as it is exciting. It's fantastic to finally get answers to these long-awaited questions being built in the form as if 18 years didn't pass between the last game. The intentional sense of nostalgia works both to its credit and its detriment. Diehard fans of Shenmue are bound to play it and be able to enjoy the monotony of playing arcade games, gambling, and looking through little trinkets. Others who couldn't get into the series before playing the first two games and were hoping this would be the one that convinces them will probably end up disappointed. Shenmue 3 was made for the fans of the series, and that's never been most apparent now than actually having played it. Some of you probably have a family member or a significant other with an odd or annoying quirk that you just can't get over it, and that's Shenmue 3. To the outsiders of your family, or in this case the Shenmue community, well it's just weird, but if you enjoy it, I won't judge you for it.